in this video, we're going to be talking about how to improve the performance of Comfy UI. Now, Comfy UI and uh, Stable Diffusion, very powerful software. Comfy UI is probably the fastest version of Stable Diffusion, but there are a number of things we can do to make it even faster. The first thing is if you are running Stable Diffusion and you're using SDXL, uh, I'm trying out a different, different version of SDXL from the standard one you might want to try using the least number of steps possible. Sometimes 15 steps is enough to get a decent image. Here I did 20 steps and it looks fantastic. This is an illustration Atlantis. And another thing is when you're working with stable diffusion, you have the refiner. The refiner does not need a lot of steps. It, it needs typically about a quarter or about a third the number of steps of the initial refiner. So keeping the number of steps down is a really good hint. And uh, one of the workflows that we had very early on in the arrival of SDXL was this type of workflow where we had the standard sampler here and then we had the standard sampler again, but with a low denoise for the refiner model. Now that turned out to be inefficient. And the reason why is because we needed a large number of steps to counter the low denoise number. So the advanced sampler, if we go and choose the advanced sampler, Choose the advanced sampler instead. That allows us to work differently. We can reduce the number of steps to the absolute minimum necessary, which can be as few as one quarter, even one fifth, the number of steps inside of the default base model. And we can then run a small number of steps to complete the image. Typically, uh, the image is gonna be improved just slightly by the refiner model. Now, SDXL is much more challenging and it's creating two images, one for the refiner, one for the base model. You probably can get away with just using the base model. In other words, just removing all of the refiner uh, stuff inside of a workflow and just use the base model. And then you can have a completely different workflow, which is just bringing in the image and then working with that image uh, on the refiner model. That means that we're not doing both workflows every single time. We're just doing the base model and then selecting a few images that have worked really well and then using them in a different workflow, which is just for the refiner. Another thing to remember to do is to shut down software that you don't need. So I have a piece of software dedicated to recording the screen. It actually uses up quite a lot of system resources whilst I'm using it. And if I sh shut that down when I'm not using it, that opens up the GPU, it opens up uh, the CPU for more uh, emphasis on stable diffusion. Shut down any browsers that you're not using. That can have a huge impact on performance. Tabs within the, the, the browser. These can have a massive impact on performance. And whilst we're talking of tabs, it might be a good time to talk about some of the courses that I've got on Udemy. So I've got uh, several courses on Stable Diffusion for Comfy UI, and uh, that goes from basic to mastery. And another course on Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, probably need to update that course a little bit. I really enjoy the interaction with students on Udemy. And in actual fact, one of the courses itself, this one here was a result of the uh, suggestion of a student to introduce some of the things that we're talking about here. This is IP adapters, and we're going into quite a lot of detail with some of this new exciting stuff. I'll have a link, a couple of links in the description, maybe some discounts there. And uh, whilst we're talking about discounts, if you are a YouTube member, I usually have quite a lot of substantial discounts just for YouTube members. Again, I like that interaction with some of the students on the membership. Now, if you're one of my people who likes to have four or 500 tabs open in your browser, what are you doing? What are you doing? The web browsers today, they can use up a huge amount of system resources. And that is something that really can slow things down inside of, uh, uh, inside of Cafe UI and Stable Diffusion. The problem there is that the web browsers, the tabs in the web browsers can use up individually a huge amount of GPU memory. They can use up other resources. Uh, some of these tabs can use up more memory than a computer, an entire computer from 15, 20 years ago. One of the things I like to do is to use a uh, 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 an extension called OneTab. 
and one tap allows you to just basically collapse everything in a in an open browser window to a single window which is going to be made up of different bookmarks so we would have one bookmark for this tab another bookmark for that tab the tabs themselves close they immediately release system resources and you can then open up the tabs all of them at the same time using one tab now one tab is here in Bing you should be able to find it as well inside of uh, Chrome and inside of Firefox. Now Comfy UI is very intelligent and every time it starts up it measures your system resources and tries to adjust its settings to ensure that you get the best performance possible. This means for instance uh, that it may adjust settings to enable you to work with a low uh, graphics power system. So if you have a 3 gigabyte graphics card it will adjust the settings to try to make everything work. But you can also adjust the settings yourself if you want to. For instance, we can adjust some of the settings here. Two settings to be aware of is low VRAM. This is used for low VRAM computers, the three gigabyte, four gigabyte systems. Add this dash dash low VRAM and it will work with that low VRAM. It will constrain the behavior. It might actually run faster than other ways of accommodating for low VRAM. So low VRAM, a useful one, you might be using it inside of uh, Automatic 1111. It should automatically in Comfy UI when you start up, figure out whether you need it or not and adjust accordingly. Another feature is disable smart memory. And you just basically put these commands in as arguments after this line here. As I've done here, hopefully you can see everything and how it's all arranged. Now disable smart memory just changes the default behavior of the system. Smart memory was something added in Windows and it changes the behavior, makes the way the system behaves sometimes more aggressive in how much uh, G VRAM it uses. So disable smart memory might reduce the amount of VRAM being used by your system and it might allow you to run jobs that are otherwise too demanding, particularly useful if you're running SDXL. Default is medium VRAM, but there is another condition that we can uh, apply. If, you, if you're if one of my RTX 4090 brothers and sisters, the RTX 3090, the, 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 the really powerful systems with lots and lots of VRAM, there's another condition. Save the file and then restart Comfy UI. High VRAM is for the people who have got really powerful GPUs. It opens up the possibility that your GPU can use all of the VRAM that it's got to maximum advantage. Now, we also have a hardware solution which involves getting a more powerful graphics card, typically with at least 16 gigabytes. If you're using SDXL, you want 16 gigabytes of VRAM at least. You know, it will work with eight and less, but that's getting the hardware that will improve the performance of your system give you a little bit if you go for the RTX 4090 it will give you a bit of headroom for uh, future proofing making sure that you have a system that can run when the even more powerful models come out I'll have a links to some recommended uh, graphics processors if you want to try those out I, I gotta tell you some of the prices have started to edge up a little bit which is hmm interesting but uh, yeah hopefully you'll find some decent prices. But guys, those are different techniques for improving the performance of Comfy UI. And I'm gonna have the comments open for the video. Hopefully, if you have any problems, someone will be able to help you out if you just leave a comment. Guys, that's it for this one. 